Hello everybody. Right, in my last video then you would have seen me making my motion plates. Um, I actually had a casting what I come across for the left hand side and I had to fabricate the right hand side so if you've not seen that take a look back at that. There's a left and a right handed there and the next parts that go with this before I can drill the mounting holes to make sure I get everything lined up I've got to do the slide bar, the slide bar mounting blocks and the cross head and all its parts. Right, so the slide bar, we'll come to that first. It actually says it's 3 8 square. Well, lo and behold, in, in my boxes I've only got 10 millimeter square. I found these little two, well I found this length and I've cut it in half and there are a little bit left over to do my mounting blocks. Cleaned it up. And it's come out at 10 millimeter, which is approximately 16 or 17 thousandths, give or take, over 3 eighths. So I'm going to use that, and I may just have to adjust a few of my dimensions to suit. Like the 3 eighths slot in the cross head will become 10 millimeter, etc. I might just have to tweak my mounting, my motion plates a few thousandths on that shoulder. But it's neither here nor there that I can do that. So I will be using 10mm for that. Because I'm a big believer in using what I've got. I don't like buying material for the sake of buying it. If I've got something that will do the job. And, lo and behold, in my box i found this lump of steel here. Obviously it's been burnt here. I don't know where I got that from a long time back. And I'm going to make me cross heads from this. I've got to do a bit of cardiovascular work here. I've just got to saw two pieces out. Inch and a half by inch and nine sixteenths. And then once I've got those squares. Well they're not actually square are they? They're, just, they're not quite square. Once I've got those sewn. I've then got to machine it down to um, half inch. And it's actually three quarter at the moment. Go on to my milling machine and put these slots in. Well they're not slots, they, they are slots, yeah. Put them slots in. And then them slots are covered by a, a one eighth plate on the top. And I found these little bits in my box. A bit of surface rust on them but they'll clean up okay. Uh, two pieces inch and a half by inch and nine sixteenths Okay, I've just come off the lathe. I've got my blocks machined up now to the to the relevant sizes. Inch and nine sixteenths, inch and a half wide, inch and nine sixteenths long. I've done the width down to I've actually left my twenty thou up than than it should than it should be. It should be half inch, I've done it five twenty. The reason for that is my slide bars are metric instead of imperial. So I've got to adjust everything that 20,000 suit. So when I do my slot, 
I'll actually be doing it a little bit wider to up, to compensate for the thicker slide bars. So I'm going to I've, I've touched onto the face on this side and I've moved over as per the drawing 3 sixteenths there so I've moved over 3 sixteenths and remember what I said in one of my earlier videos if you're wanting to cut a slot at an exact width you're best off going with a smaller cutter a smaller cutter and working your way up to get a good finish on the sides and then any slight variation in your headstock or spindle bearings once you get the cut on you might get a slight you know few thousandths wobble and it may machine big unless you've got a really precision machine tool so uh, I'll be going in with a 7 16 then I've got to open mine up approximately 17,000 I'm now ready for doing the slot, this one, where the connecting rod fits, which is that bit there. So I've just got to go to the same depth as the other groove, other slot, on this corner. And that's where the pivot point is for the connecting rod. So I've got my stop set to the depth I want to go there on my x-axis I've got my y-axis set on, on the line that I'm working to there so it's just a matter of going in with the depth now That's it, just got to debear it now. Uh, which way did it go? That way. That way. So just to point out, if you want your covers on the same side, you've got to do a right hand, a, le a left hand and a right hand. Uh, if you did it the other way, to just mean cover it would be on opposite side uh, like that yeah so do I prefer to do my left hand and the right hand keep everything uh, a mirror image right I'll just debate that one that's one I did earlier uh, so my next job is to uh, make the covers and then we can drill the holes through for the pivot <laughs> 